When I'm out making videos for my YouTube channel or filming with the drone in general, I have a few tips or a few tricks that I use to make my life a little bit easier. So I thought I would <laughs> share these tips with you so you could benefit from those as well. And the first one that I want to show you is uh, this little thing here. You've probably been fiddling around with uh, putting the, the gimbal cover on the drone. And uh, then I saw a guy, he was su suggesting that you could just put a piece of foam behind the gimbal and that will make the whole process a lot easier. So if you don't have it, then you sometimes you hit this one and then you have problems uh, getting sort of uh, the gimbal cover in place. But if you place this piece of uh, foam behind the gimbal, you can see it's very easy to make it snap on. And I've put in this red wire because you don't want to forget to take it out when you are flying. So I just take this one off and then pull out this one and then we're ready to go. So that was tip number one. Another thing that people seem to complain about is every time that they need to take out the SD card, they don't have enough nail or there's something wrong that they can't do that. But you can basically just use another SD card and simply use that to press on this one so you can take it out. And make sure not to let it go so it pops out so it's being propelled out automatically because that has happened to me as well. <laughs> Then you're probably saying, I don't have an extra SD card to do this trick. Then there's another one. Just remove the battery. That makes it in a lot easier to get your hand below and simply pop it out. Like this. Finally charging. So what do you do? If you just use a regular wall charger for your phone and it's not the high power one, then it will take forever for you to charge uh, your drone. You could go out and buy a, a new charger that's dedicated for the purpose, as uh, you probably know already by now, that DJI is not delivering a charger in the kit. But you might already have one laying around. I'm using this one uh, for my MacBook, and you probably maybe have one for your PC as well, that has like a USB-C port that will allow you to charge it. And these chargers, or not these chargers, but these power supplies, they are pretty powerful and they will speed up your charging a lot. If you're out flying with the smart controller and you're in a new location where you haven't been before, yeah, that's kind of self-explanatory, otherwise it wouldn't be a new location, there's a high chance that there are no maps on the controller. And uh, so you make sure that you connect it to Wi-Fi so it can download the maps. But how do you do that? I'm in the middle of nowhere, there's no Wi-Fi. You will simply use your phone as a hotspot and then connect the remote controller to your phone. And in that way, you can get the maps down where you need them. The final tip, I'm not even sure that this is a tip, but this is a way that I saw a guy uh, hand catching the Mini 3 Pro. You might be in a situation where you don't want to land the drone because uh, the terrain is simply not suited for this. So it's a pretty good skill to have. And normally I would just land it flat on the hand and I would also make a take off from my hand. But uh, I saw this nifty trick, which we are going to try here and hopefully I will not kill myself in the process. <laughs> the you lower the drone here to this location and then you simply go grab it here on the battery slot and then tilt it over to the side. <laughs> it worked a lot better than I expected. I could see myself doing this in the future. In this way, you don't need to worry about the bottom sensors and all that stuff. It will simply just kill off the motors because you, you exceed the tilt angle of the drone. So I hope you like these five tips. Uh, maybe you have some tips that you want to share with me that will make my life a lot easier when I'm out filming. If so, then make sure to share them in the comments below. And I hope you like this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you around.